What's so funny, Your Eminence? Oh, I was just imagining the screams and suffering we'll hear when my 50,000 elite shock warriors descend on the planet Sharad. <laughs> I was particularly enjoying the panicked bleedings of the young ones. <laughs> oh, who wouldn't? But, uh, the eyes in place, Your Eminence. Oh, the eyes in place, is it? I take a few seconds of personal time, but no, the eyes in place. Oh, of course, no one even tells me what exactly it is that the eye does, even though I command the largest shock compound in the galaxy. But no. Um, the host, your eminence. Exactly, the hosts. So no, 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 the house. Next door, my God. Yes, Masters. The eye is in place. Destroy Sharad. My pleasure, Masters, and uh, thank you. May I? Mm -hmm. Destroy Sharad! Everybody in! Come on, we've got to get off Sharad. <gasps> Come on, sweet. It's going to be all right. Zadam? I can fly this thing. Welcome aboard, family. Parents, place your children in the reinforced evac 2000 child protection pod, then position yourselves at the console. Detecting child in wrong seat. All children in protection pod. Zadam, there's no time. The shock have reached Sherrod. All of us need to be brave. But I am brave. I know you are. And the brave thing for you to do is to get in that <gasps> protection pod with your sister. But... No buts. You heard him? We're all gonna get blown up if you don't shut your trap and get in the pod. Okay. I'm engaging thrusters. Pod door closing in five seconds. Five, four. Are you freaking three. out? No. Are you? Stay on. Let's get our kids out of here. Invasion is raging. The invaders are called the Shock. They are unstoppable. Children, orphans, warriors must defend the supercluster as they search the stars for their lost families. They are Saddam, Trippney, Ryle, Lavana, Duncan. Brats of the Lost Nebula. Checking systems, life support operable, thrusters operable, all systems online. Trouble. Warning, shock warrior approaching shuttle. The shock. What do you blasted things want? Warning, shock warrior scanning shuttle. <gasps> Please, don't. <laughs> Parents, your EVAC 2000 thrusters 1 and 2 are inoperable. The spirit of the Sheridian people is indestructible. Your children are a gift to the Super Cluster. Get us a child protection pod now. I can fly on thrusters 3 and 4. We can make it. But what if we don't? Something's not right. I don't know. Mom! This ain't happening. Are we doomed? I think we're doomed. But then I think we're not doomed. Hmm. 
Doomed or not doomed? What did Mom say? Saddam, are you listening to me? Looks like we're almost out of air. Huh? How much air we got left? The evac 2000 child protection pod has two days of atmosphere remaining. The little girl's hiding a candy bar in her doll's dress. Fat mouth. Busted. <laughs> the boy's concealing two vitamin bars in his boots. Ugh, gross. What kind of person hides food in their shoe? The celestial count of planets destroyed by the shock continues to grow, now numbering 3,202. The Nebula Alliance is still grappling unsuccessfully for an answer to this intergalactic pestilence. Saddam, wake up! Something's wrong! Huh? Huh? some kind of magnetic field or something. Hang on, this tub's going down. Uh, I'm gonna check it out, stay here. The dolls are okay. Whoa, where are we? Checking atmosphere, hospital hall. Checking location, uncharted planetoid. The O2's okay. Okay, everybody, listen up. Everyone, hold hands, stay together, and nobody gets lost. Come on, let's get out of here. And please, don't forget, when abandoning your planet, always buy the EVAC 2000, the Superbuster's <sighs> first choice in escape vehicle. Hmm. Good luck, Shreddy and children. <gasps> Seems to me this toy is void. Oh, we are doomed. We're gonna die like Mom and Dad. One, Mom and Dad aren't dead. And two, we're not dead either. Not yet. Come on. Triple E! Easy, boy. Uh, easy. <laughs> You can give up, but your surrender must be unconditional. Uh, Zadam! Okay, you get a head start. When I pounce, no mercy! Zadam, seriously! I want to see what kind of dude this dude is. Dude's whack. Huh? That's what that dude is. He tries to trap me every day. When I woke up here a couple of days ago, he was already here. I don't even know where here is. I'll tell you where here is, you big freak. Here is my jungle. I have claimed this swamp for my people. I'm Ryle. I'm a Tranoid, and this is Tranoid territory. No, it ain't. Tranoid's a zillion miles away from here. Big freak. Huh? <laughs> Strong big freak. Put me down. Cool by me. Has everyone forgotten about girl in the tree! Oh, hey, that's not good. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, there we go. Yeah, don't worry. <sighs> Hi, I'm Tripley. Oh, hey, what's up there, Tripley? <laughs> <laughs> are you a kid? Because if you are, you're too big. Uh, don't mind my sister, she's tweaked. I'm Zadam. Oh, uh, I'm 13. Weird name. Oh, my name's Duncan. How old are you? 10. Zadam's 13, too. Actually, I just turned 14. We're Shreddians. Mm. Oh, uh, I'm from uh, Yarlan. Shred, huh? Hey, did uh, you guys get shocked? Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know if Yarlan's still floating. Last thing I remember is traveling with my granddad on a Yarlonian freighter. There was this blue fire everywhere. I we couldn't find my granddad. I passed out. Next thing I know, I was here.
Celebration of Sherrod, bringing the total celestial body count to 3,000. You must be very proud, Your Eminence. I think they mention me next. According to informed sources, the insane shock commander is named... Excar Pygar! Oh. Mm. My lords and masters, um, could you possibly call back? There is trouble. I love trouble. And us? Do you love us, Hexstar Well, um, I like you. Of course you do not love us. You do not love anything, do you, monster? If you had any measure of love in you, you wouldn't be very useful now, would you? But, masters, I would die for you. And that is because you do not even love yourself. <laughs> I like myself, sort of. We have detected a tiny planetoid in your quadrant. Personally supervise its destruction immediately. Shall I wait for the eye? No! I see. Very well. I will consider it a great honor to remove this vexing pebble of a planetoid from your collective boot. Your honor is of no importance. Do it! Huh. Shall I instruct the shark to level the pebble, High Commander? No. Have it scanned. But our masters, the host, they said... Indeed. Blight, aren't you the least bit interested in why the hosts themselves would trouble their high and mighty souls with such a trifle we planetoid? And why no I? Hmm? Ow. I Ow. intrigued. <laughs> Information is food, my rubber top brother. Ow. Let us... Islander Shock, scan the planetoid for signs of life. The planetoid is infested with lowercase indigenous life. They appear to be very young creatures. Children! Well. Collect them and secure the planetoid! Affirmative. Why are my unknowable masters, the hosts, so concerned with children? Yeah, this armor's way cool! Yeah, thanks, Duncan. We look wicked. Oh, uh, no biggie. This ship's full of good Mac. What are you doing in there? Uh, kit bashing. Really? Think you can get this thing to fly again? Mm, no way, man. We're gonna be trapped here forever. Hey, we'll get out, and we'll find Mom and Dad. Huh? <sighs> Playing with dolls? Tranoids do not play with dolls. Ugh, Shridians are so weird. <gasps> Ryle? Ryle! Whoa! Whoa! Huh? Hello? these gears. Yeah. Hey, maybe this planetoid's some kind of giant machine. No. <gasps> She's a living thing. Who's that? Show yourself. <gasps> I've got a horn. This cavern is either the planetoid's brain or heart. I haven't been able to get her to tell me yet. Whoa. You're from Loza. Uh, she's from Loza. Uh, hi. Hey. Magic people. Ah, elves creep me out. Ugh. I've never met anyone from Loza. Till now. I'm Zadam. This is my sister Tripoli. We're Sherudians. Duncan over there is from Yarlon. Ah, Tranoids rule. Mm, that's Ryle. We all got shocked. They smashed Loza. But before they did, all of our people went into a collective dream. When I awoke from my dream, 
I was on this planetoid alone. Beautiful Loza. It's cool to have company. Loza's gone? Shh. The planetoid. She's talking. She's angry. Huh? Violence. Pain. Death. Suffering. Back to doomed. Maybe this rock's alive, maybe it ain't, but it's definitely not our friend. I'm with Hornboy. That's not the planetoid. Those are 50 pound concussion loads. It's the shock! They're blasting their way through the tunnel. worth it. Look, how pitiful. Weird little girls asking the stones for help. Ugh. Children. Disgusting. The children are of no consequence. I suspect the secret to the host interest in this torrid little scenario lies in the planetoid itself. Right. Destroy the children! Secure the planetoid! We've all got to join in. Help! 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 Man, we're flying. Yeah, yeah. We did it. We rocked the ship. <laughs> <laughs> she did it. Mother planetoid. Huh? Uh, uh, <sighs> Mother planetoid. <laughs> <laughs> Prisoner for interrogation, Commander Vigar. Do you hear that, Blight? <laughs> Marvelous! 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 What's this? Child prisoner. Will you be my friend? <laughs> Certainly not. You have disobeyed our orders, Exdar Vigar. You've allowed the planetoid to escape. Your punishment shall be swift and severe. I can't wait. You will find the planetoid. You will destroy the planetoid. You will destroy the planetoid students. The planetoid must not be allowed to flourish. Darkness must swallow light. What is that? Oh, uh, it's a door. Will you comb my hair? Comb her hair, Vigar. Then follow that planetoid! <laughs> Would 
what you're thinking. I was just wondering what Mom said. Well, let's find her and ask her.